Okay, I decided to make a quick video, interesting video about the BMW N63 engine problem. And uh, well, the problem is in this solenoid valve. And not just solenoid valves, because what happened is the bank 2 was getting over boost errors. So basically it was uh, constantly mm, pulling too much vacuum and um, the wastegate was always closed. Therefore, as you know, uh, the wastegate is supposed to open to release the boost. So it was not doing that on bank 2. Bank 1 was working fine. As you know, there are two solenoids, 1 and 2 over there. One controls the bank 1, one bank 2 based on a pressure sensor located on the intercoolers. So what happened is, what we found out, this is the old one, okay? And if you just simply pull some vacuum in here, it's not... It just basically sucks vacuum directly from here, which is wrong. It's supposed to not do that. It's not supposed to do that. So basically, if you just simply, just even um, pull some vacuum in here, it, you're gonna see it's gonna be pulling vacuum from this hole, which is wrong. And this one, the new one, if you connect it like this, they're different. So this is a vacuum source, this is output source. So basically how it works, it builds the vacuum here, okay? And uh, when it needs to, um, the PVM signal opens up, um, opens up the valve, and therefore it's it can control the wastegate um, at the proper level. Okay, so if that thing is directly connected, like on the old one, it will constantly pull the vacuum from the wastegate, therefore over pressuring and everything okay so anyway the problem was in this valve from the beginning and of course as you expected you just buy a new one replace it right no nope, not really it didn't help at all okay and what happened is I started, started checking things I found out that the bank 2 doesn't have the PVM signal so it's controlled by um, modulated signal on the ground and it doesn't have it while the bank 1 has it this I'm going to show you. If you look right there, you can see you can see that it's nine volts here, okay. And uh, I'm going to start it, and you're going to see how it builds up the pressure. You can see it, right? Right there. You can see there is signal. So now it's connected to the bank one. If I swap it to the bank two, for convenience, I connect it like this. This is bank two. There is nothing in here. So basically, something happened to the to the DME module, and it's not building that signal anymore, and that's why it's not controlling the solenoid valve, okay? Let me turn on the engine. So basically, the problem is in the DME. And uh, even if you replace the solenoid, it's not gonna help because solenoid will not open, will not do anything at all. So keeping the keeping the, the waste get closed. So, unfortunately, that's the problem. And uh, like I said, the bank one works, the bank two doesn't. Even if you replace solely you know, it doesn't really help here. So that's the whole thing. I want to tell you that this small problem turned out to be a pretty serious problem since the DME is quite expensive. Maybe I can repair it or just replace it. That's what's going on. Otherwise, the bank one is not uh, releasing the pressure Therefore, it's constantly uh, overboosting the bank one. Okay, so you can see on the oscilloscope that the output for the bank one is broken. Oh, a bank two output for the bank two is broken. The output for the bank one is good. That's about it. So I'm just saying, like, uh, if you get this problem, it's not always just solenoid. So I'm assuming because this solenoid went bad. Probably it's a good idea to replace them 
every as you see they actually uh, modified it it's a little bit different now this one and that one so you can see that the filter is different and uh, probably a good idea to replace them quite often like every 50 60 thousand miles because it's a very important part it controls your boost and that's that's everything on for this engine without the boost this engine will not perform obviously so this one basically um, this one looks vacuum really bad this one doesn't but since the DME probably I'm assuming that it was looking vacuum DME was constantly trying to trying was constantly trying to adjust it and uh, that's probably what killed the DME so I'm assuming this valve probably killed the DME so be very careful very expensive repair. okay I put everything together and I'm going to show you what's going on in bank one the working one and bank two the non-working at the idle so you, you understand that it's idle um, it, it, it pulls only very little vacuum um, so the band 2 doesn't I pulled the okay just watch it what happens is a good one this is a good one you can see how the arm is steady at 15 right so now I'm gonna connect it to the bad valve the bad valve is this one so look what's going on it's constantly at the 20 and it's jumping so the thing is that it will not pull much vacuum more than this so this is what it does the whole time so basically when it needs to open the valve it, it can't and it, it, it simply constantly uh pull it, constantly at this number so it constantly pulls this much vacuum and this is enough to keep it completely closed while the bank one is keeping it half open at this point and only when you need a boost it will close it and then open it again to prevent it from over boosting so basically this is the problem even though the um so what's going on the the output is incorrect that's why the solenoid is basically constantly opening closing at a high speed and as a result you always have this amount of vacuum which is 20 no matter what um you driving no matter what load you're driving boost not boost it pretty much stays low the whole time okay so that is the problem okay i put everything together and i'm going to show you what's going on in bank one the working one and bank two the non-working at the idle so you, you understand that it's idle um it it, it pulls only very little vacuum um so the bank two doesn't I pulled the okay just watch it what happens is a good one this is a good one you can see how the arm is steady at 15 right so now i'm going to connect it to the bad valve the bad valve is this one so look what's going on it's constantly at the 20 and it's jumping so the thing is that it will not pull much vacuum more than this so this is what it does the whole time so basically when it needs to open the valve it, it can't and it, it simply constantly uh pull it constantly at this number so it constantly pulls this much vacuum and this is enough to keep it completely closed while the bank one is keeping it half open at this point and only when you need a boost it will close it and then open it again to prevent it from over boosting so basically this is the problem even though the um so what's going on the the output is incorrect that's why the solenoid is basically constantly opening closing at a high speed and as a result you always have this amount of vacuum which is 20 no matter what um speed you're driving no matter what load you're driving boost not boost it pretty much stays closed the whole time okay so that is the problem